So in 1992, I made this photograph, which further changed things. I made it about 30 miles from where I live. I took my class, my university class, on a field trip by a little creek. It was the end of the day, and one of uh, my uh, uh, students, so to speak, was a grown woman who had children. She brought her children. They had caught fireflies down at the uh, creek, and I saw them over there, and I had a camera on a tripod, and I went over there, and I said, hey, fellas, hold still. I'm going to make your photograph. Nothing startling. Uh, it's the end of the day. They're slightly silhouetted. Um, the contact sheet's on the left. Uh, the image, of course, is on the right, um, and they wouldn't hold still, and they wouldn't pay any attention to me, and they just kept moving, so I made 12 exposures. Make a long story short, I developed the film. I'm hugely disappointed. I go in, and I show Pat. Um, she's in the office, and she just says, well, honey, print one, uh, and I said, they're out of focus. I print one. She, I show it to her. She says, print it bigger, so I'll go back to the dark room, and I print it bigger, uh, and I look at it again with her, and she says, Oh my goodness, print it a little bigger. I tell you that story because it's a total accident. Uh, it's the first image I ever had that, the, as we say in the gallery world, the edition closed um, uh, right away. Um, it struck a chord that I wasn't prepared for and it was a mistake, but it changed the pivotal way I started to think rather than documentary, straight documentary photographs or perfect sharpness. Uh, I tried to, uh, to, to leave a little room for whatever I was photographing to maybe finish the picture. I met a woman uh, outside of Santa Fe that told me they had a blind raven, that her husband played the blues harmonica, I swear to you. And every time he did that, the raven would jump and dance. So I said, could I come out there and photograph that? Um, little things like that happened, things that were small.